You are the prayer. You are a manifested prophecy. Because of a vision. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like I'm talking to myself. such a privilege to um, to be in this kind of environment with the great prophet of God and um, and I'm so sure that everybody that is planning to come to this event will get something back but I've been here for uh, 17 to 18 years and there is no such thing as the prophetic movement in Dallas you see so what the prophet is bringing here is something that's very new to the people but I'm sure it's going to take them out of this world I don't want to sit in the back, but I'll sit on that side. Uh, Uncle Fred. Bishop, yes. so so I'm going to eat at the Hard 8 barbecue. <laughs> you picked a good spot. Oh, you know it? Uh, Yeah, I've been there once. When the last time I was here in Dallas. Okay, perfect. So I'll see you there in a little bit. Okay, well, what time are you going to make it there by? In about 30 minutes. In about 30 minutes? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. All right, bye bye. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the back of the house, Papa. I'm going to go to the t-shirt. Why don't you tell me? I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm and uh, and I got I got their new collection. It was like the one I last uh, streamed in. That whole thing was Tom Ford. Last week, I got a pinstripe. Huh? That's that brown pinstripe, so I can cover for this private love. Yeah, yeah. You need to kill him today. They need to know. Let me tell you something. You, okay, look, look at him. Put it on him. Oh, what are you doing today, Apostle? Today, I'm gonna have a, a, a six-button run and run, custom made for Prophet Glories. We're gonna finish you, <laughs> my father, son. <laughs> we started with Prophet Glovis. You have punished me for too long with your suits. That's right. <laughs> my son is coming for you. We are fighting this war by fire, by force. <laughs> Listen, Prophet Glovis has been punishing us for years. When God gave me my son, Apostle Shah, I said, listen, God is winning this battle. Surely, Elias' family will win this one. <laughs> Let me tell you why this is the problem with a lot of uh, ministers. You see, when God calls you, and I'm going to do a minister's conference very soon, by God's grace, this coming year. The, the issue with a lot of men and women of God is one problem. They don't understand that every single servant of God has been given a specific message by God. We all have the Bible. We all preach similar things, but we don't all preach the same message. We all declare the same thing, the coming of our King, but we don't all teach the same aspect of the coming of our King. If you don't know your assignment, you may be working as an evangelist, yet God called you as a prophet. You will never prosper because God does not fund projects he did not assign. Yeah. 
The Lord is about to bless her. And Glory be to the Lord. Change her life. Glory I am seeing Lord somebody Jesus. else. Dallas, how are you doing? Hey. I'll tell you. I what. can't hear you Jesus. celebrating Jesus. Receive it in Jesus' name. Clap those hands and celebrate the King of Glory. my hands. So ask Mama Ma Ma Ghana, how did you feel about the event? The service was awesome. When I walked in and saw everybody, I'm like, wow, where did they all come from? And God is too God much. Is good. What did you think, Bishop? Man. Oh, prophet, I could feel the electricity the moment that I stepped into oh, God the is good. It was strictly fire. Tonight was powerful. Wow. Very powerful. Mm. You could feel the anointing pouring down. Oh, God is good. Yes, he is. <laughs> My son, the prophet, apostolic bishop, <laughs> the, the soldier of God. <laughs> Papa, I believe that we hit Dallas, but I think the grace vibrated all through a Texas. I'm talking Amen. about Texas Amen. has been impacted Amen. by your grace just coming into this place. Wow. They have been introduced to the prophetic at another great, at a level of grace that they have experienced. So what a night last night, um, man, you know, God, God doesn't cease to humble us. God doesn't, you know, doesn't stop humbling us. There was over a thousand people last night that just came to be part of the move of God, part of the Revelation family, part of Elias' uh, generation. And uh, it's shocking, man. It's, it's humbling. Wouldn't you say that, Uncle Fred? Yes, definitely. Knowing that God spoke to me in a room where there was nobody, in a place where I was nobody. Uh, but God still speaks and he says that, um, this is what I'm going to do, stay on this path. And to see how many people God blessed last night, touched last night, ah, it's life changing. It's humbling. I'm just, I, I, am, I am grateful to God and I, all I can say is thank you, Jesus. You, you know, I just want to say thank you to everybody that came. We know that it's by the grace of God, but I'm just grateful that you came, you traveled to be a part of history because this is the first crusade I've ever done in my life. First of all, last night was epic. If you did not know who Revelation Church was, you definitely know who we are now. Um, I think that what we've done is allowed many, many people around the world to pay attention to the move of God, what's happening, not only in L.A., but in a town, in the city, near you. Uh, service was phenomenal. First uh, out-of-town service, so we're excited for more. Can't wait. Incredible, amazing, awesome. Just the, the, the reception that we got from the people, the crowd, uh, the way the team came together. Uh, it was just, it was just awesome. God's hand was in everything, uh, from start to finish. I have a runny list of all the grace and mercy and favor that that we received from the time we left LA up until now, and the list just getting longer and longer. It's just been incredible. It was great. It was awesome. A lot of hard work, uh, but it was great. It was uh, a blessing to be here. Can't wait for the next one. So it was amazing. Like we had a full house. Oh, you, you know what I'm saying? We pulled off something that only God could have done. You know what I'm saying? Revelation Church came out. The media team, the worship team, Papa Low, we showed them who Revelation Church is and we're excited to come back next time. I'm not one that goes to preach for people. Not because I wouldn't want to, but God hasn't permitted me. But for God to allow us to do this and to do it at this magnitude. I mean, who does their first crusade like this? Mm. You know? Man, God can, who? I don't even know how to say it. The Lord Jesus is God and is truly able. And that's all I can say. God is good. I am, I am in awe of God. He has left me speechless yet again. He's done it millions of times, but man, in another city, in two weeks, about two weeks notice, right? That's when we started doing it and wow.